Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney, Google Certified Innovator and Trainer. This video is about using a website called Soundtrap to make your own podcasts. Now, podcasts are all the rage in this post-serial era, and they're a great way for teachers and students to publish and display and demonstrate their creativity. Now, I don't have a Mac, as you can see, I have a Chromebook, but a, a Soundtrap will work on a Mac, a Chromebook, Windows, what have you. It's a great free website. Technically it's freemium, but it's free features are enough for us for making our podcast. So log in, it has a login with Google. We love that. Now to create an episode of your podcast, you click enter studio. And then you want to choose blank because Soundtrap wants to make you a musician. And I love musicians. I'm very envious of them, but I have no vocal or instrumental talent, bucket list item. Okay. We're doing this for podcasts. So if I hit add a new track, and again, it want, as you can tell, it wants you, and it's got some great things. If you're a music teacher, please check this stuff out. Please explore it. But we want to go voice and microphone. Here's your import file, and you can see it will go to your hard drive. Really cool. So let me show you what this looks like in action. So if I go back, I will don't save. So if you notice, I have some projects right here for my podcast. Now, it will only let you have five projects at any one time. So once I hit the limit there, then all I have to do is click this and delete the project and it will be gone. So let me open my most recent episode of my podcast, Sustainable Teaching Podcast. Here's a little plug with an awesome guest of mine. The man's name is Adam Juarez, great teacher in California. Well, let's put it over here. If I put it there, then I can easily split and cut, split a region right there. And that will let me crop little snippets that I don't want in. If my audio goes out or something like that, it lets it go out. It, it also gives me the option. If I click this edit right here, I can fade in and fade out. How cool is that? The other thing I want to share with you guys is, so there's a Chrome extension that is usually people recommend and I've tried it years ago and I tried it again and it's called data saver. If I bring it up here, I'm not actually going to put it on. It's called data saver. It's from Google. And I swear years ago. And again, just this past week, it caused my Chrome to crash. And so I'd be editing here in Soundtrap and all of a sudden it would crash, but it would come right back. If I hit refresh, if I went back to my Soundtrap, this all came back. And that's why I really like Soundtrap beyond the, the easy to snip and edit and, and crop clips and edit out stuff. Plus, by the way, the view, look at the view. Look at this, I can zoom in and get real tight or zoom back out and get a little bit more comfortable. So that Soundtrap has such great features. I know it's meant for music, but for podcasting, it is fantastic. I was using a Chrome app called Beautiful Audio Editor and when it would crash, if it, when I was using Data Saver, that was it, it was gone. So that's why I have changed things up and gone to Soundtrap. If you like this video, please check out more on my channel. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.